y'all. Guess what? I'm at it again. Let me close this window right here. So you can see, my sweetie put me a blind up so y'all can see better. I open it when I'm not using this because I don't like my kitchen to be dark. Today, I found this on sale. I love to find cheese on sale. I put it in the freezer. I make homemade pimento and cheese. I eat that a lot with my rice cakes. But yesterday, we went to Tommy and I bought bunches of greens. And this is kale. I'm gonna can it. Uh, a dollar and a half of this big old bag. But I got some in my water bath counter right now, steaming down. I got two bags of collards. I'm gonna can those for later. A dollar and a half a bag. Clean, washed, and cut. That's pretty good. Uh, the thing about with collards, which I love collards, turnip greens, anything green. Uh, the thing about with collards, when you're going to can them, you have to steam them to get them to go down to smaller to put them in the jars. You don't want to take up a bunch of space with leaves. So what I did is took my water bath canner, and I got a big stainless steel colander that I put inside of it, and I put my collards in there and I put water in the bottom of my water bath canner and I'm going to steam it so it can um, wilt and then I will put it in my jars put hot water and a little bit of salt put it in my pressure canner and can it put it on my shelf for later because I love green stuff sometimes green stuff's hard to find I bought a cabbage today, and it wasn't on sale. Can y'all believe I bought something not on sale? And I paid way too much for it, I know. But I wanted cabbage. I love cabbage. Fried cabbage is so good. I just couldn't resist it. I had to have it. Even though this cost me over three dollars for this head of cabbage. I cannot believe I paid that much. I don't know why cabbage is so daggum high right now, but it is everywhere you go. Uh, but these collards, I always go, when I go to any grocery store, I always walk through where they have the produce, and I look to see what they got produced. They keep it for so many days, and they'll mark it down. These were regularly, I think, $3.99 a bag or more. Sometimes they're $4.99, $5.99. But because it says sale by August the 14th, which is today, they're marking down. I love it. My best, the best things I did. I bought a Boston butt, and I'm going to give it to my son-in-law so he can uh, cook it. And I want to make some, uh, I love barbecue egg rolls. And I like to cook them ahead of time and put them in the freezer. So I can put them in my air fryer and heat them up later. They're good. So I'm going to let him cook. I bought a big old pork butt and I'm going to let him cook it. And I'm going to give him the same just a little bit. So I can put it in my, my egg rolls. Anyway, just had to tell y'all what I was doing today. It's been a good day. Uh, we had to go to Tallahassee. I had to have some dental work, so we went up there. And I had to stop by Ramsey's, the Blunt's Town. We had some pretty good deals there, if you look. I'd get me some good old tomatoes. I got so used to having those tomatoes from Jackson Farms, I am so spoiled. Well, right now, it's kind of like an in-between time, and I don't want to buy a whole box of tomatoes anywhere. So, we went to Ramsey's, and I bought me some tomatoes. These come from Georgia, but if you look at them, 
They look like Jackson Pines. I hope they're as good as Jackson Pines. I love Jackson Farms tomatoes. But I wanted some, I wanted some fresh tomatoes and I didn't want them things that don't taste like a real tomato that you buy in most grocery stores. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. I'll show y'all the process as I'm going. I may not talk. Okay, y'all, I got eight jars of greens in the canner. I'm got it's I was gonna let it go for an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, I said it, I was telling to it. Well, it's not gonna matter. <clears throat> you hear the steam coming out? I let it steam just like a regular candy. It's been steaming for 10 minutes. Benny, what they call Benny. Now I closed it. It's gonna build up the pressure. It won't take it long because it's hot inside and then it'll start counting itself down. So in about an hour and 15 minutes or more, be more than that because I gotta let it cool down some, probably about an hour and a half at least. Uh, I'll bring y'all back and let y'all see the finished product and then I gotta put some more in. So, see y'all later. Hey y'all, look at this. See, they're still bubbling. That is collar and cow. All I have to do is pour it out into a pot, put a little bit of bacon in it, or bacon grease, which I say, or ham, pieces of ham, whatever you want. Make some cornbread, open me a can of my beans that I can, or jar. Mm -mm, that'd be a good, good meal. Mm -mm, see how they're bubbling? They turned out beautiful. Very pleased. Very, very pleased. I'm gonna go try to upload this movie for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this. See my tomatoes back there? Mm -mm -mm. They look good. I've got a big bag of potatoes I bought. So I'm probably gonna can some of them tomorrow because we can't eat that many. And I didn't give them to Kim yet. So I'll do that tomorrow. All right, see y'all later, bye. Oh, I forgot. Y'all, how about subscribing to my YouTube channel and like me on Facebook if you don't mind. I wanna see how far I can go with this. Uh, I've got a bunch of good people watching me and I enjoy it. If I can help somebody learn a little bit that I've learned, I'd be glad to. Okay, grandkids, go get to making them biscuits. We'll lead us home cooking. Love y'all. God bless you.